Pfizer has submitted research to the FDA on the effects of its COVID-19 vaccine in children aged 5 to 11. That age group is now one step closer to becoming eligible for inoculation. Here to discuss is the principal investigator of the Pfizer biotech trials at Yale School of Medicine, Dr. Onyema Obawagu. Welcome back to the show, Dr. Obawagu. Thank you for being with us. And yes, so we are one step closer. What is your best estimate as to when we'll actually start seeing shots in the arms of those young children? Yeah, so we've been proud to announce that uh, for kids age 5 to 11 that the clinical trial data is in and the vaccines are safe and, and in those uh, kids and um, their immune responses were very similar to older adolescents and young adults, which was just great. So that data has been fed to, to the FDA. Um, we do hear there's been a meeting uh, set for October 26 to review the data. Pfizer still has to send a little bit more data to the FDA and we're hoping that that should be the timeline for approval. It took a lot of work to get to where we are. Um, you know, we had to find that sweet spot between finding the right dose for the kids while uh, ha ensuring that they have the right immune responses, but also making sure it's safe. And really just want to say thanks to, you know, parents and children volunteers who helped us generate this data. That's very important to say thank you to them. And Dr. Abuelga, are we going to face now a potential vaccine hesitancy uh, when it comes to the vaccine for kids, do you fear or will the parents now be a little more comfortable because we have had at least the vaccine out there for adults for, for quite a bit of time now? Yeah, that's a very interesting question. I think that we've seen, definitely seen vaccine hesitancy rates decreasing over time. Um, I think one good measure of how willing parents have been to get their children vaccinated are looking at the data for the 12 to, to 17 year olds. And we see that about 54% or so of people within the 12 to, you know, that uh, demographic have received a vaccine. We do and have learned from surveys that uh, parents of younger children may be a little more hesitant than older children to have their kids vaccinated vaccinated, but it's critically important because we know the role that the vaccines play in protecting children against disease and more importantly in allowing us to resume normalcy in, in school, you know, sports, sporting activities and in-person school learning, which are critically important for our kids. Yes, so many parents have been waiting for this moment. Of course, vaccines need to be safe and effective. And you mentioned uh, the tough time of finding the right dose for this younger age group. So how does it compare in terms of dosage for this age group versus older children? And what are the side effects? Yeah, great. So, you know, the, the, the doses were selected very carefully after early phase trials that did what we call dose ranging studies. And so we settled on for the kids age 5 to 11, a dose that's a third of the adult dose. And for kids younger than age 5, we settled for a tenth of, of the adult dose. And so that was calibrated based on the safety signals that were seen in the trial, which typically fall into two buckets, which are just local reactions people have, pain at the injection site, and some of the more systemic symptoms like fever, headache, and fatigue. And those appear to be at par with what we observed in older adults, which were um, essentially uh, safe without any serious uh, vaccine-related adverse events. And, and you mentioned those younger children, Dr. Abuagu. In fact, just a week ago, we heard from Pfizer CEO saying results from even younger kids, ages two to four, the results from those studies may be out. How long do you think that will be before that very young age group will be eligible for vaccines? Yeah, so we continue to enroll kids in the younger demographic. Um, th there's a little bit of a gradient with uh, being able to enroll younger kids. Again, the, you know, the same uh, the same issues we face with, you know, uh, acceptance of vaccines. Uh, also a little bit uh, challenging to enroll some of the very younger kids in clinical trials, but we've made a lot of progress and hopefully we will have some data in the weeks uh, and few months to come. Doctor, um, for a parent, with a kid age 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, listening to you right now, Dr. Onyema Obuagu, who we turn to so often, who does this work. Uh, when this thing is available, when this vaccine is available for their child, do you have any hesitation uh, about telling them to run right out and get it? So I have vaccinated my twin 13 year old boys and my 10 year old daughter cannot wait to get her dose, <laughs> dose of the vaccine. Again, we tested smaller doses for smaller adults and there's a very small risk uh, conferred by those vaccines compared to the risk of acquiring COVID-19 and all the disruptions. I think we still need to learn a lot about the consequences this pandemic has had on some of our younger uh, kids and you know, the quarantining, school outbreaks, social isolation, 
uh, out of school learning and I think that this is our part to normalcy. So I would encourage every parent that we've put in a lot of effort to make sure that these vaccines are safe and effective for children and so when they're authorized, please go out and get it. That is very reassuring indeed. Dr. Abawagu, thank you so much for being with us. We certainly appreciate your time and your expertise. Thanks for being on the show. It's my pleasure as always. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.